Understanding the Business Environment. In this presentation, we introduce a framework known as PESTLE Analysis. This can be used to help understand the influences on the organisation that come from the business environment. We also look at the contribution that accountants can make to environmental analysis. Why should organisations undertake an environmental analysis? Firstly, we need to monitor the key changes in the environment, as this may invalidate our strategic plan. For example, motor vehicle manufacturers need to be aware of changes in government policy towards the use of fossil fuels. Notice we said key changes, as there are many changes in the environment, and the skill is in identifying those that are key to our future strategy. But it is not just changes that we need to understand, it is the drivers for change. This could be things like underlying trends, such as a change in demographics of the population, or perhaps changes in leisure habits, or new technology that is creating change. This might impact on the type of vehicles demanded, for example the growth in sales of sports utility vehicles. We also need to assess how changes will impact on our organisation as opposed to the competitors. This is known as the differential impact. Making plans in an uncertain future can be difficult, so understanding how the business environment is changing helps to reduce the uncertainty in forward planning. The end result is that we want to be able to assess the potential impact of change on our strategy so we can formulate a strategic response. The organisation sits within an industry and the industry sits within the general business environment. The general business environment can be analysed using our PESTLE analysis. That's the political, the economic, socio-cultural, technological, environmental and legal factors. Changes in the general business environment, such as a government commitment to ban vehicles that run on fossil fuels sometime in the future, will impact on some industries more than others. So we need to understand the impact on the industry. Porter's Five Forces model helps us understand the influences on the industry that will impact on the organisation's strategy. This is considered in a separate video. We can also make a distinction between the general environment and the task environment. An organisation interacts more directly with some elements of the environment. Indeed, it is where an organisation obtains its resources and sells its products and services and this is known as the task environment. PESTLE analysis is a useful tool for understanding the changes in the general business environment. Let us briefly consider how this might apply to a manufacturer of motor vehicles. Political factors. For instance, our previous example of government setting target dates for banning the use of fossil fuels in vehicles. Economic factors. For example, in an economic recession, consumers may well keep their vehicle for longer, and the demand for luxury cars may reduce. Socio-cultural changes. Changes in demographics, such as an ageing population, or a growing number of families, could impact on the type of vehicle that is demanded in the future. Technological factors. This could include aspects such as changes to production technology, development of technology-driven features in products, or even the impact of the internet on the way we buy and sell products. We are already seeing the impact of technology on vehicles with built-in satellite navigation systems, auto park features and even possibly moving towards driverless vehicles. Environmental factors. This encompasses sustainability issues and the recycling of products. Even alternative energy for running vehicles is a big issue facing vehicle manufacturers today. And finally, legal regulatory issues. For example, safety issues and regulations concerning carbon emissions are current concerns of the vehicle manufacturers. But we can't respond to absolutely everything, so we need to be selective about what we respond to and what we keep monitoring. Management teams need to understand the industry sector in which they operate so that they can make a decision as to which changes need to be responded to and which do not. But of course we might get it wrong, so changes in the environment can confirm or invalidate our plans. In fact, in some industries, such as technology-led industries, things can change so fast, organisations need to be flexible in order to respond in a timely manner. 
So the more dynamic the environment, the more flexible and agile the organisation needs to be. Let's briefly review the contribution of accountants to environmental analysis. Management accountants are able to contribute directly to the environmental analysis by monitoring and interpreting environmental data of a financial nature, such as interest rates, inflation or the state of the economy. Perhaps the most valuable part of the accountant's role is to evaluate the potential financial impact of changes in the environment on the organisation. For example, at the time of preparing this video, Donald Trump, President of the United States, was planning to impose a high tariff on imports of steel into the US. This will have an effect on a number of industries and the management teams need to know the impact this could have on an organisation in order to formulate a strategic response to deal with the change. Competitor analysis is an important part of environmental analysis and assessing the financial strengths and weaknesses of competitors can provide valuable insight into their ability to respond to strategic decisions made by the organisation. And we should not forget internal data. For example, a trend in the sales of certain products to certain demographic groups of customers may be indicative of a more general trend in the environment. And if you can spot this before the competitors do, you may gain a competitive advantage. This video is part of a series of short videos that explain specific aspects of the strategic management framework and cover some of the strategy models that can be used in the analysis, formulation, implementation and review and control of strategy and the role of the management accountant. This presentation is provided as part of the support materials for the book Management Accounting in Support of Strategy by me, Graham S. Pitcher, and published by Business Expert Press.